We're learning more tonight about the man who was gunned down in Lynchburg last night. The police say 25 year old Tyler Harris was shot and killed about 5 o'clock yesterday on 17th Street. You saw it as a live breaking story here on 10 News. 10 News reporter Magda Lelousant was the first reporter on scene. She shows us what she's learned about Harris and the man charged with killing him. Those who knew 25 year old Tyler Harris say he had a unique way of making people laugh, especially those he met for the first time. Tyler about 24, 25 years old, uh, had every reason to be living full of just explosive potential and an overwhelming like breath being knocked out of my chest. Walter Virgil Jr. was Harris's coach and mentor when he was a student at Virginia University of Lynchburg in 2012. He was one of the guys that we were bringing in from West Virginia. Um, Tyler was a decorated young man. I believe his senior year, he was awarded the Gatorade Offensive Player of the Year. At 5 p.m. Wednesday, Lynchburg police were called to a home on 17th Street. They found Harris had been shot multiple times. He died at the hospital. A short time later, police say this man, 35-year-old Asa Hagu, turned himself in. Community leaders say the work to stop the violence still continues in Diamond Hill, even after the Enough campaign ended on Wednesday. We're asking for ideas, asking for support in any way, and we will continue one way or another to be in the neighborhood even through the winter. As for Virgil, who had plans to meet with Harris next week, we'll never get to hear what good news Harris wanted to share with him. But now he can only reflect on their last call as memories. So for him to finally arrive to a place where he was excited about what he was doing really meant a lot to me because uh, it allowed me to recognize that he was, he was figuring some things out. 